damn it died on me. This thing fucking sucks. Whoa, my lens is dirty. Hope you guys can't tell, but I can tell. It doesn't really matter because the way I edit this stuff is... I got the HD on lockdown. Welcome back to a new video. We're out here about to drive this big blue beast. And uh, back... I need to put air in the tires. And I think like... The lower control arm on this tire is like it has fucking stance on it. Sorry for the language, but it like I'm stanced the wrong way. Look at it. I don't know if that angle gives it justice or not, but um we gotta fill this van up with crap. I don't know, like I know a lot about Hondas, but I don't know a lot about these type of vehicles. I have to look at it. But I'm gonna fill this up, van up with crap from the garage. We're almost close to setting up the shop. So this is what we're doing today. Look, I don't know if they make like a lower control arm kit like they do for Hondas like aftermarket to make it like tighter. Find the right key, start this beast up. Welcome! This vein is a nightmare. died on me. This thing fucking sucks. I gotta really clean it. Clean, clean this thing up, man. Holy cow. Some knots in it, but it's nice. Look. But that's a good looking piece of wood. Are you gonna nail it up there? Yeah. You nail it. Do you want to use a nail gun or just hand? I'll just use regular nails. The reason why we are cutting the boards and putting them down there, it's so the rodents, the rats, because it used, used to be infested with weird things. It looked like chipmunks were living in there. Weird squirrels, rats, and I've found a couple dead mice. I'm not touching those things. But we're putting that wood along the edges right there. So if they try to get in, they can't. So that's, what we're, that's why we're cutting that piece of wood like that. We need positive vibes out here. I need to get a sign that says, your ego needs to be dropped at the door. Said what? I need a need a sign that says your ego needs to be left at the door. I'm gonna have to cut another piece. That's okay. I'm gonna use this one. No, that's that's great the way that is. It's good, you know. Give me a couple of nails and that hammer. All right, hang on. It's been about a few hours since I picked this thing up. I've been just moving stuff in here. We'll show you, we'll give you another updated tour of uh, what's going down in here. Some of the stuff is, is coming together. So I don't, don't know, oh, okay, I know, yep. Right here, this is up now. We got the screen printing shelf, or not the screen printing shelf, but the uh, shelf that holds the screens for the screen printing set up right here 
Um, we showed you this earlier. We're showing you again because that's I don't I forgot what I was talking about earlier, and I'm not gonna go back and watch the footage. Um, got my inks. So this is how I'm doing it right here. Down here, I used to have a scoop coder, and I gotta find it again. But I'm gonna practice um, putting emulsion on my screens again, and then um, try to burn some of my images. I do have a small little rig that I used to use to burn images in, but I'm um, still trying to figure that out. I go have them made somewhere else. I send my artwork out and I get my screens made somewhere else. But here's this like cleaning, screen cleaning thing down here. That's to thin out the inks. If you don't know about screen printing, there's a different type of inks, plastic salt inks and water-based inks, plastic salt inks. Um, you might have to thin down just a little bit because they are a little bit thicker and the only time they are, can cure is if they're put under heat. They never dry unless you cure them with heat. Uh, water-based inks, you can, it will air dry and um, dry with no, no heater. Union ink that's just what the store that I get my inks at that's what they have so that's what I buy it's not like I'm this is the brand I use I use whatever whatever brand they have I use so you have the the weird brands down here and these little uh, tubs is like ink that I've made like mixed and made ink in here and right here is the tie-dye kit we have the tie-dye kit down here and then we have the t some of the tie-dye that I've used is up here. The next time I'm in here, oh, I'll be doing some uh, screen printing slash whatever, making t-shirts, sweatshirts, whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it out here. And we have this uh, bulletin board with uh, stuff that I had, I've done already. So I used to, I write down the client's name and what they want and how many they need and how much it's going to cost. And then I send them a bill. And then we also have skater, last year's skater of the year, uh, Jamie Foy, doing a trick down here. So I hung that up. I want to get the new one and the new Thrasher. I should be getting that in the mail here pretty soon. Basically, I'm going to have what I used to have hanging up in my room when I was a kid, like, you know, skate photos and stuff that you tear out of magazines. I'm going to have it up in here because, like, even though this is a screen printing full-blown screen printing shop area you know I'm gonna set it up to like what inspires me so like skateboarding uh, pictures of t-shirts you know stuff like that and, see in the fall you do a 360 you need to move some stuff but right here is gonna be the backdrop so when this is all done and I'm in here moving and grooving I'm gonna do a full 360 like from the setup of the shirt to the printing of the shirt to taking pictures of the shirt to packaging the shirt to to shipping the shirt out that's a video that's coming up that's what I'm gonna do I'm telling you so I remember later when I watch this back because sometimes I have video ideas and I forget about them why do you come out here when I'm trying to talk yeah for, I accidentally grabbed it right when you said Oh, where's it at? Oh, I accidentally grabbed it in my hand. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna hang that light up sideways, like right there or somewhere. You don't hang, right? Right there. I can hang it for you, but I'm not done in here. Ready to go home? Yeah, I'm about done. I gotta pick Braden up anyway. What time? He gets out of school at three thirty. So I got... Almost an hour away. Is it okay if I start wheeling some of this stuff over? No, I want to clean that out back there. Okay. I'll probably work on cleaning it tomorrow after I get done with my stuff. Oh. Chores. Okay. But everything else out here, it's pretty good to go. I just... I'm going to put that paper cutter up here on on this table. Remember that is mom grandma's paper cut. Yeah, but she let me Okay. 
well, have it me. slash use it until whenever I give it back. It's been out there covered in whatever for a long time, so it's she hasn't asked for it back. She's been out there and used it a few times. But if she wants to cut pictures and stuff, she'll take it in the house and she come out here and cut the pictures. Yeah. It's easier. That thing is heavy. Have you tried carrying that thing? Yeah. Me? I carry it. You find a niche that you're good at and you do it. You know, you, you get passionate about something and you, and you get good at it and you do it. You turn your hobby into your lifestyle. You don't settle. You don't settle for something. You work, grind hard and then, you know, doing your own thing takes a long time. There's a struggle. You know, you gotta grind really hard, like I just said. But in the long run, it will pan out. You know, haters are gonna hate. You know, keep keep on going. It doesn't matter what the haters say. You know, like I say, don't hate the player, hit the game. We're out here doing our own thing. So, this is the front door for the trap house. Hello, is anybody home? Here's a thought, I gotta put a, a sticker on the door that says, you know, recording in progress, don't come in, you know, because like out here I'm going to be start doing these videos, these screen printing videos that I used to do, show you people on how to screen print the right way, get the view count up, I don't get YouTube sometimes, it's weird, like, put videos out and I have three, you know, on one page it says I have this many views, on another page it says I have this many views, and on another, like, area where you can look at YouTube it says I have this many views on one page it says I have this many subscribers on the other page it says I have more subscribers on the other way that I can look at YouTube it says I have more subscribers I don't get it do not I don't understand it but then I looked it up I might be looking at it wrong or reading it wrong or from my understanding the way that I understand it and I read it that you know YouTube that you know the computers are computing and counting and they're slow at the count. The, the computers are slow at the count. So, like, if you're doing a YouTube video and it says this many views, but in reality, it has more views than it says. Same with the subscribers. If people subscribe to your channel, on the one on the on the one side, the YouTube I forget what it's called, but the YouTube Studio thing where I can like look at my page and cr create from my phone on that page it says I have this many subscribers but then I I go on the YouTube side of where I can watch the videos and go on to my channel it says I have more subscribers and then I go back onto the YouTube the studio thing and get in the whatever the the side where I can see like where it's my videos have been searched and where it's been searched the most and who's been watching the most and stuff like that it says I have more subscribers. It's really weird, but then I looked it up, and the computers don't count as fast as the views go. That's what I figured out. So if you're watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button, like the video. That's the new thing, like the video. We need more likes. So basically, we're looking for likes, views, all three subscribers. We need all three these days. We're trying to hit 2,000. I, I need 2,000 subscribers before summertime. I'm trying to hit five 5,000 by the end of summer. How old are you? <laughs> Just kidding. 12 and a half. <laughs> I'm five. Two and three quarters. Eighty nine. Right, and I'm sure it would lie to us. Keep it casual, must be on a high level. Keep it casual, must be on a high level.